Hello friends, welcome back. So today's topic is not with SAP, but something uh, fun with the technology. Uh, the current, uh, I think you have all heard about the OpenAI. I was also just, you know, exploring a little bit of my own. I didn't dig much of it, but uh, certain capabilities I was just trying to look at. Uh, you know, this OpenAI is basically a Microsoft owned, uh, which initially started by Elon Musk. And uh, certain features you can find over here, like the chat GPT, uh, GPT is basically generative pre-trained transformer. So this is a feature which has uh, basically an optimized language models for dialogue. It has lots of capabilities. One of the example you can see like it's trying to uh, make a conversation with the developer uh, with a code snippet, whether the code does have any problem or not. So some sort of, you know, uh, you know, conversations with the chat GPT you can find over here. It's a powerful capabilities that based on the NLP. Uh, similar way, uh we'll just i was just basically uh looking at the dal eto feature where it has the capability to generate images so you can just see uh, one second let it open so dal is a new ai system that can create realistic images and art from a description in natural language so you just give a prompt and based on that it has the capability to generate images whatever the uh, different inputs they are we're, we're giving to so there is a you know you can log in with your uh, email id and you can create an account over here i already have uh, logged in and i tried to explore a little bit with this uh, given uh, gui where i can prompt certain uh, put certain prompts with my text like buffalo is playing tram on a mountain which is something very abstract and it's able to generate uh, kind of a very uh, cool pictures right it's all generated it's not searching over the uh, internet it basically gets the intent out of this uh, stream and it's basically generating the overall image with different uh, uh, look and feel as you can see and uh, what happens like it offers around 50 credits for the first month you can see the credit count for me it's currently 45 because i have already spent a few and the subsequent two months will get 15 credits and uh, yeah that's what it does as a kind of a free you can uh, avail different you know uh, uh, kind of things i just tried like a dark is singing you can see kind of a very interesting and cool picture that been generated right awesome so now thing is if we uh, try just how we can try there is another capability that's called uh, api okay so there is an open ai api so with that api also we can uh, you know, uh, in a similar way, we can extract the image URLs. That is the what I'll be trying. Uh, so we'll be creating a Node.js application and we'll be using this OpenAI API to consume this uh, model, right? And we'll test our application through Postman. So I hope that will be pretty interesting for you. So let's stay tuned till the end and see what it, uh, how it goes. Sir. As, as I do normally, like I like to start with the scratch. So this is my VS code. Let's uh, create a Node.js application by running NP init. So this will create actually a package.json file and we'll create the next file as called index.js so that now I can uh, write my all application logic and we'll be uh, installing a few uh, dependent models like Express, then OpenAI and another one I need is called .env to store the API keys because that's what uh, I'll be using to access the API. So let's get it installed. Pausing the video. Yeah, look like this is all installed my independent node modules. So let's grab express first in our index.js by using a require express. And let's create an application called app by just with this express only as a function. And what we need, we need a port uh, so that application can listen to that. And for this, we'll be using process.environment and dot port if it is available. Otherwise, you just uh, let application will take 3000 as default port. So let listen with this port that we created the constant. We put uh, console log simple so that we can right like listening to port um, all right and delete the rest of the thing 
So very basic things uh, we all do with our node application so but just to start from scratch i prefer to do it this way and let's create an arrow function request response and you can say response of send and you can write something called welcome to open api sorry open ai not open api right so that's all so let's save it and uh, we can create certain start script uh, also so let's write node index um, to make our development a little easier i prefer to use node mon so node mon uh, index you can install node mon as a dev dependency uh, but i already installed it globally so i'm not installing it again so let's save all so we can just now run npm run dev so that it runs the uh, node mon and you don't have a process environment or no environment file that's why it's running on 3000 but let's create an uh, dot env now and we create something called port is equal to 5000 so that we configure it and let's go to index once again and this time let's grab dot env by you can require dot env but this time we need to use a config method and now if i just restart uh my environment file is not yet saved so save all and i'll, I'll see uh, okay so we need to rerun once again because this file is not a part of the tracking for the node mon so npm run dev and this time you'll see it will no more on 3000 but running on 5000 because you have configured it right okay all right so this basic thing and now we can just access this uh, test this application over uh, postman because you'll be using postman to test this overall thing so we'll just make a get call on this 5000 and api is our route and you can see this one will come to open AI. all right so let's move a little further and uh, let's add the routing so instead of cluttering the index.js with all our um, logic so let's follow the best practice by setting up certain uh, rules and uh, the controllers so we can create a, a folder called roots uh, which will contain all the roots and we can create a file called open ai root .js. so here we will again need uh, the express uh, to start with so let's put it over here and this time we'll need our router that is called express but this some capital router and don't we should not forget to export this router right so this important so now uh, we'll be using a router dot post because we'll be eventually uh, posting the input text or input prompt so we are calling it the root as generate image Again, let's put a callback function request response and we can put this time response dot um let's put the status because we are using a post operation and give a payload i mean kind of a response uh, details so everything is fine and then you'll just put success as true so that's what we just creating our root so here let's grab it as a middleware so sorry if dot use and here we'll be just creating a route called open ai and here we can just directly call the require oh sorry uh, i just put the comma before and here we can take roots and there we have the open root so that way the middleware is we have just added the root so what will happen first we'll just add open ai and then followed by uh, generate image then only uh, it will give us this message so let's save all and it's running again in port 5000 so this time it is no more a gate operation but it will be post operation and in it is not api but it's open ai and also the next is generate image i capital if i click on send it's a 201 created and this is the message that's good so our first part is done but now the thing is uh, again the roots should not be having the business logic because we need to now 
use the OpenAI um, node modules. So that's why so better we'll just you know keep our program logic, actual logic in a different file called controllers. So let's create a folder um, called controllers. And there we can create a file called um, generate image .js. So this is our controller file. All right, so here we'll be just writing our main business logic. Now to start with, with the interest of time, let's uh, write a few lines of code as a copy paste. So this is what the open AI we are just grabbing and we just need two things, configuration and open AI API that we are basically destructuring from this response or the model. And then we are actually creating a configuration instance using the API key from our dot uh, environment file. You need to put something API key. So let's copy and put it in our dot uh, environment file. This is equal to uh, some kind of a data that we need to put. We are not yet done with this uh, API key. And the passing this value and generating the open API instance, which will be actually consuming uh, to generate our image URL. All right. So this is my API key sections. Uh, you can just go and check for the view API keys option. I already have one API, but I'll be uh, creating a new one uh, for this session. Don't use this API uh, key because I'll be deleting it after this uh, uh, after this uh, session is over. So let's go and into our environment file, paste it over here. This API key. All right. Fine. So we got this. Uh, configuration uh, will be working as, as we have put the value got the instance so what next we basically need to actually uh, create a function so that called uh, generate image and we'll be using an async function so we need an uh, anonymous function with async type so it's basically request and response as an arrow function i want to use uh, uh, to go with and now the thing is let's do some sort of a try catch uh, with this so in the try mode we'll be doing let's say constant response that is equal to await this is the open ai which we just created the instance and this does have a lot of file a lot of methods but we'll be using called create image and it will have certain uh, it, it will need basically some object as an input so one of the object is called prompt that is something of uh, i can put a text let's say mouse jumping on bread some sort of an uh, iteration it needs how much uh, now how many url it will return so i just need one image and next is uh, the size okay so what type of size it offered certain different big medium and small so let's go for the small one so this is what it needs as an input so this part of the string and the size will be making it input enabled from our uh, you know uh, request payload that will do soon so what so what will happen so so this is my image will be just we we'll just got the image and we uh the image url will basically looking at right so constant url so this url will be nothing but the from the response whatever we got then it has some data part we will have again a data part that will be an array so put the zero or the first element dot url so this is what we need as an url so once we get that value uh, we basically need something we put under this type of message right so copy it put over here in the controller like that and instead uh, along with success so let's put url also and you put this url put a comma so that it it is syntactically all correct all right so right here all right so now in case of happens any anything wrong with this certain input text if we just uh, give uh, as per policy it may fail so in that case uh, the same thing we'll just copy and paste it but success will be this time uh, false sorry what is happening today and i don't have any more url but we can put uh, some error as error whatever we receive over here right as a catch block 
pretty simple thing so what will happen so if i now uh, test it right so but it will not work because we need to grab this business logic called generate image within our, our root so we don't know no need this function so instead of, instead of that okay all right we have done one thing wrong we need to export it from this controller model exports and we can uh, send it as an object so generate image as an object so here in this root we can grab this object constant um, we can just record again controllers we have this generate image so this one as a controller will just passing it over here that's all so it will just take me to that function and it will if everything fine it will basically get a response and because it's an asin so i have it and i'm just checking if everything i have written correctly then it will return 201 and uh, and it will return this response actually it's a gate operation so but i just saying because of the post uh, post uh, uh, operation that will uh, i'll be using in postman so that's the reason i set the message as status code as 201 but it should not be 201 it should be some sort of an error so let's say put 5500 sorry so that's all right so let's click save all what will happen all right so now just simply we will generate this message and if i just run it it is taking some time so the reason is like the model is now working with the input prompt and if everything fine voila you see 201 at the image we got it so if i just control and click it will open in my um, it is open in another uh, tab and you see the mouse is dancing on the braid awesome right so if you just run again i'll get one more click so i have i have basically received one more new url so if i click on that another image so our uh, exploration is successful only thing is need a little bit uh, the request need to pass through so that piece we need to just tune it a little over here so for that we need to use one more middleware uh, we can use app dot sorry app dot use and we need express dot json it's a function and we also need app dot use express dot url encode and we can put something called extended false so these two middlewares if we just pass then what will happen in our in our controller we don't need to give this thing as a hard coded rather we can just put constant we can just destructure called prompt and we can something take called size this we can just destructure out of our request dot body all right so now this prompt you can pass it over here instead of typing this way you can put like this and size you can put like this all right so now my i can pass any text as an input we don't have anything hard coded so let's save all once again yeah 5000 so now let's go for our body and it's currently it's empty so you have to put two things called prompt um spelling should be fine uh duck uh, playing drums some abstract uh, just for fun and you can put size uh, that as far we know like it's 512 plus 512 right so if we just run it um, ideally it should um, it's a 400 uh, all right, I think I did a mistake over here. It will be PRO MPT, so some sort of a uh, incorrect typo. And hopefully it will work fine now. All right, now 201 successfully. So it's basically a dark playing drums. Let's see. Yeah, it's a dark playing drums. Awesome. It's a brilliant uh, way this uh, OpenAI works. We just explored today a kind of introductory part. And maybe if... Uh, uh, interest there i can create more videos on 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 this uh, chat gpt or maybe on open AI other features thanks for watching uh, subscribe my channel to see this kind of more videos in future okay stay tuned thank you